This is going to be a lot shorter video than setting up the cycler. I have the cycler all set up now. I'm going to be adding heparin into the bags. Heparin is a blood thinner. It's an injection here. Um, this is going to be something that would be specific to each patient. Not everybody is going to be the same with this. Um, they shoot this in the bags and what it does is when it's in your body it prevents things from building up and resulting in blockages in your tube. So it's, it's like to keep your draining smooth and, and you know quick and just faster. So each bottle of heparin is good for a month from when you open it. Now I'm just going to set that aside and I have these little alcohol wipes. I'm going to put an alcohol wipe on top here because like I said we're always wanting to be sanitary. So short recap here, machine set up, bags are ready to go, and we have our heparin being prepared. Now I have two unopened unused syringes for the heparin. I'm going to use one for each bag. I'm also going to use two alcohol wipes for each bag and one more alcohol wipe for the heparin. So what I'm going to do is start with the alcohol wipes. We're going to do the same thing with the bags that we're doing with the heparin. We're going to put this, here's where you shoot in the heparin in this little thing that's on the bag. I'm going to cover it with the alcohol wipe, just kind of the best that you can, and let it sit on there. And I'm going to do it with the other one. Oops, this was, yeah. So, now all those three things are covered with an alcohol wipe. Now I'm going to take my first syringe out of the package. And these you have to like screw the top on to make sure it's tight. Now my bags are 6,000 milliliters. So... You have to do half of, this is a milliliter syringe, you have to do, since it's 6,000, I'm going to do three milliliters. I'm not exactly sure, I know it's like, it's because it's half of six, it's going to be three. So like if your bag was 5,000, it would be 2.5. If your bag was 3,000, it would be one and a half. It's whatever is half of like your, I mean, first number there, like 6,000, half of six is three. Can't exactly remember why that is, but that's how it is. For these kind of injection things, you have to pull the plunger back to where you want it to fill up at, which I pulled it back to the three. Now I'm going to open the new alcohol wipe and rub the top of this for like 30 seconds. This is what my dialysis nurse taught me. Um, rub it for 30 seconds after you had you know one sitting on there for a while then you use a new one to further clean it because that's one of those things you don't want any kind of contamination risk at all so almost there and that's about 30 seconds so I'm going to do the same thing with the part of the bag over here that I'm going to be shooting the heparin in 
It's like a quick 30 second clean up. So what I'm going to do when I'm done with this is put the heparin in this syringe. Whenever you're using an injection like this bottle that the heparin is in, you have to put in the same amount of air that you're going to take out in liquid, if that makes any sense at all. We're, we need three milliliters of heparin, so we're going to put three milliliters of air in to replace what we take out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take the top off, and once you take the top off, this is a needle. This is a very sharp needle. Um, I've been cut with them, and it doesn't feel good. So, you know, be really careful. Um, if you have, like, shakier hands, you know, definitely be very careful. I'm going to just stick it right in there. The whole way in. I'm going to push, and you're going to see the air going in there. Now I'm going to slowly draw out the three milliliters of heparin. I mean, you know, you want it to smoothly draw out. I went a little past the three. I usually do that, and now I'm going to push till I get to the three. So, there it is. It's in the syringe. Um, I'm going to do it down here. I don't know if I could get any closer for you. I'm better with my right hand. Well, I'm right-handed, but I'm better with this being on the right side. So, hopefully you'll be able to see it. I'm going to stick it straight in here. You want to watch that it doesn't, like, come out the side. You want to watch that it goes straight in. Because it can come right out the bag. And then I'm going to just push the stuff into the bag. If you want, you can kind of draw out some more to... You can kind of draw some out into the syringe and then, like, push it in again. If you want to make sure, like, it's really, really mixed up. And I'm going to get rid of my sharp. I have a laundry detergent bottle that I use for a sharps container. And that works really, really well. So that's a good idea if you need a sharps container to use a laundry detergent bottle. Bring this back down and just do the same thing that we just did. Except I'm going to do it kind of faster this time. So maybe try and just keep up. Um, like I said, you know, heparin, I don't use it every night. I use it once in a while. Um, sometimes I can tell that my, my um, port, if you want to call it a port, sometimes I can notice that it's like draining kind of slow. So I'll be like, hmm, maybe I need to put some heparin in my bags. Um, I'm not sure, you know, how many people use heparin and how often, but that's something that, you know, your doctor will discuss with you if it's necessary. Just doing the same thing again. leaked a little bit on me. Um, see, it's a little awkward and it does take a little getting used to, but, you know, after you've done this for three, four, five years like I have, you'll be, you'll feel like you're an expert. Okay. It doesn't, I mean, I wasn't exactly on the three that time. I have cut myself during the part that I'm doing right now, so I'm always kind of cautious with it. It is a little hard to puncture that part of the bag to to get the needle in the right spot. It's it's kind of difficult. Um, so it like it takes a little practice. And what happened was I got too confident with it and. It slipped and it cut my finger and it really really hurt um, 
so that was that was heparin. Um, one other thing to remember with your syringe, you don't want there to be air in it because then the air will get in the bag and then the air will get in your abdomen. And I mentioned in the last video that air in your abdomen can be extremely painful. So you want to make sure there's no air. Now I'm going to connect to the machine. It says connect yourself check patient line. Um, so I'm going to do that just so you guys see how that's done. Uh, let me see here. This is the end of my port. This is like the part that's connected to me. Um, I'm going to connect to it and I'm going to hit go. Um, this is one of those times where you definitely want to have a mask on. You want to make sure your hands are washed. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Okay. It's like the two hand method. You want to, you know, work together and do it quick and smooth. Then I'm going to open this part, which is going to allow, you know, everything to flow. But that was it. I mean, it was, you know... You want it to be as quick as possible and just nice and easy. So now I'm going to hit go. I get a prompt that says verify I drain and it says 500 milliliters. So what that means is it's going to try with this. It, your machine starts with an initial drain. That's what the I drain means. And the 500 milliliters means it's going to try its hardest to get that much out in the initial drain. I'm actually going to change it to like 250 because it's later than I usually hook up and it's not going to get 500. So I hit go. So now we're on the initial drain. And now you can hear the machine. Sorry, I didn't want this to fall. Um, so it's draining now. Let's see if I can kind of, if you can, I know it's backwards. Sorry about that, but it's, it's draining now. And if I hit the down button, you can see it's actively telling us how much is coming out. So that is hooking up and hooking up to your machine. Um, again, if you have any questions about anything, I'll do my best to answer, but I'm not a medical professional, I'm not a doctor, I cannot diagnose, I can't, you know, answer medical questions. Um, but if you have a question about anything that I showed, if you want to see something again, or want clarification on something, you know, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, I just hope that anybody could have benefited from this video, you know, if you have a question or you're just curious about the process. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's about it. I can do a video on tearing the machine down and, like, how to like in the morning, like how to disconnect. Wow, it's like really draining a lot off. Hmm, <laughs> cool. Um, but that's it as far as setting up the machine and, you know, putting in the program and everything. I think I've covered all that. So, um, thank you for checking the video out. I hope that you benefited from it in some way and, uh, I'll keep, you know, uploading some stuff. So, have a good night. See you next time.